Hi everyone. Uh, so today we'll be learning about how to create a simple uh, SQL table within PostgreSQL. So if you want to open the query pad in PostgreSQL, you just navigate to the database that you had created known as class, and then you click on, you right click on the class, and then say query tool, and then this one will open the query tool that you need for you to be able to write your SQL queries. So over here, we'll be able to create a database. We'll be able to create a table, I mean. So for example, one, we'll create a table known as student. So this student is our table, and the student comprises of the various attributes. One is that it has the attribute student ID. The first one is student ID. Another one is the first name, last name, phone, number, and then another one is the email. So first of all, we have to identify the various data types for these uh, uh, attributes for the student. So for example, the student ID attribute is VACA, and VACA stands for variable character, and then we'll determine the size of the VACA. We can say it's 100, and remember this one is a primary key. So the student ID, uh, the student ID is a primary key, and then the next one is uh, the first name. This one, the data type will be VACA again. We'll say the size is 100, and then uh, another one is uh, uh, so read, uh, so this one is VACA 100, and then <clears throat> last name, the data type is, uh, it's VACA, VACA, VACA 100, and then uh, phone number, the phone number as always, the data type will give int, so for the int we don't define the size. And then email will also give the data type to be VACA. So VACA stands for variable character, 100 is the size. So we have to make sure that uh, this, it means that it, the student ID will hold uh, 100 digits. So in this case, we are assuming that uh, the student ID can be something like HRI stroke 600 stroke S21 stroke 001. Basically, you're able to see that these admission number has letters and and numbers so if it has letters and numbers the data type will be vaca first name maybe we can say first name is john john and then last name let's assume here they we have a name like do for the last name and then int maybe we have a phone number like uh, 07 uh, 01 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 7 like that and then the email, we can say it's uh, John uh, Doe at gmail.com, like that. So these are the sample data that you are planning to enter into that database. So basically, you want to focus on how to create this, the, uh, this table. So and our table name is uh, a student. So if you want to create this table, this is what we'll do. Uh, first of all, we'll say create. Create is a database command. And for this example is that uh, the create query here, basically you are prompting it to create a table. So we'll say create table. We'll have to write that in caps so that we can know what's a command. And what is the name of the table? Student. And then you put your bracket and then you press enter. So you see automatically when I put one bracket, the, uh, the, the, the IDE, this IDE that I'm using, the PG admin automatically gives me the uh, the, the 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 closing parentheses so over here i'll say uh maybe i'll say we are creating uh the first column is the student id i'll say student id and then i'll say you'll put a space and then you'll say the student id the data type is vaca 100 like that and then this one is a primary key you'll say primary key remember each table must have a primary key because a primary key uniquely identifies each and every table and then you put a comma because that's the first one you go to the second one which was the first name first name and then you say the first name is vaca 100 and then you put a comma and then you go to last name vaca 100 and then you go to uh, phone number, phone number, whose data type is integer, you put a comma, and then the last one is email, whose data type is VACA 100. 
because it's the last one we don't put any comma okay so basically when you are creating a table you start with create table student student id vaca 100 that's the data type each and every attribute must have a data type and then it's a primary key and then you finish with the comma and then the next the, the next attribute is first name whose data type is vaca you put a comma last name vaca you put a comma so always remember these commas phone number int you put a comma because it is a, a data type int we don't put it in parentheses we don't define the size and then the last one is vaca uh, the, the last one is email whose data type is vaca 100 and then you close the bracket you remember when i click on this bracket it maps out with the beginning bracket over there and then always remember to terminate your query with a semicolon like that okay after doing so you highlight them and then you click on this one execute or you can click on f5 and then it has told you create table query returned successfully so it means that your table is running effectively so if i want to confirm that i just go over here under the database class and then i click on this arrow like that it expands and then after expanding you right click on class and then you refresh like that and then i go to schemas over here i click on the arrow again it expands i scroll down to tables i click on it again to class and then i'll be able to see the database student and you can see here is my student that i've just created as simple as that let's repeat again let's assume we want to create another uh another another table known as let's say we are creating a table known as exam and the attribute for exams the first attribute that we must have for exams each and every table must have a unique identifier the primary key so i'll say exam id and we know this data type is what car we can say its data type is vaca 100 and then the next one is uh, uh we can say uh, student id student id and we know student id data type is vaca vaca 100 and then another one is we can say the unit that the student is studying we can say vaca 100 sorry 100 and then last one we can say max and the max or let's say score score that the student has garnered up for that unit and then we can say int like that that's the data type because score is a number etc so uh, this is an, uh, another table that we are planning to create. So if I want to create this other table, whatever I do, I just come over here, press another thing, we go to line number nine, and then I'll say create table, sorry, <coughs> the command should be in caps. I'll say create table exam, and then open my bracket, and I've just told you automatically it creates the other closing parentheses, the compiler, and then I go down and that start the first one, I say, and the first one is exam id which is the primary key so over here i'll say exam id the data type sorry exam id the data type is vaca 100 and then we'll say primary primary key and then you put your comma and then you go to the next one i will say the student id was the second attribute i'll say student id vaca 100 and then you put a comma and then you go to the next one which was uh, a unit and unit uh, sorry the unit was vaca 100 and then uh, the last one was score and remember score we've just said it's integer because it's the last one and i've said integer we don't define the size and you can see over here for the integer case we never define the size in bracket so radical integer and because it is the last one we don't put a comma so you know now you can check over here even this one uh we don't have any comma over there and then we come over here and terminate our query if you want to run it you highlight the query and then you click on what execute and you can see create table and you can see query return successfully but when you check over here you can see that we do not have the exams table so you just right click on the table and then you refresh so for your case i think you won't be having a lot of tables like mine so for example when you come over here you will see the exams table and that's how we do creating tables in postgresql thank you guys always remember to subscribe and share thank you you can enjoy
writing codes, SQL codes in pgadmin. Adieu.